walking through airports these days, I often chuckle to myself as I survey the scene that looks like a mental hospital with patients wandering around aimlessly, talking aloud to themselves. No offense intended to those of you who have loved ones institutionalized. People rush from gate to gate while they talk to their broker on their headset in a booming voice, gesturing wildly as they push through the crowd. People stand in line at the cafeteria and talk to their best friend about the details of their divorce. People in the restroom stand at the lavatory with a flushing toilet behind them, carrying on a conversation with their boss about a status report. Salespeople sit in the restroom, uh, restaurant at breakfast and talk to their affiliate in Switzerland about why the shipment hasn't reached them. Even if you're dining alone and the cell phone provides companionship, the guests at the next table don't care to join you. Now, because I travel alone so frequently, I've, I've often heard phone conversations, because I'm quiet, in elevators, hotel lobbies, and trade show booths about everything from strategies for buying lotto tickets to symptoms of shingles. A colleague of mine grew so frustrated at a fellow passenger that she took matters into her own hands, noticing that other travelers were as tired as she was of overhearing this particular passenger's carrying on loud conversations with his broker about all his investments, with his doctor about his abscessed foot blister, and with his sales rep about their week's appointments, she walked over to an adjacent waiting area. She dialed his cell phone because he'd been giving out his number for callbacks. When he answered his phone, she delivered this message. Your fellow passenger seated around you at gate 67 would appreciate it if you would just shut up. Loud personal calls in public places are neither classy nor courteous. They resemble the antics of Madonna or Molly Cyrus. Movie theaters flash an animated cartoon on the screen before the featured movie to remind moviegoers not to add their own soundtracks. Other public venues with hosts on the scenes comment on the same common courtesies which may be less and less common. Seriously, when you use your cell phone in a public place, keep the volume low and intimate. Although strangers, friends, and coworkers say, tell us that they may not call you from the coffee shop next door to let you know, I guarantee you they'll appreciate the courtesy. Do loud cell phones in public annoy you? What's the most outlandish discussion you've overheard? Comment in the section below.